Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Farming. Today, we are back with how to grow turnip in containers. Turnip is grown for elongated roots as well as for its foliage. Fresh roots are consumed in salads and cooked as vegetable or used in pickles. The turnip greens are rich in vitamin A and vitamin C and contain an appreciable amount of vitamin B and also good source of calcium and iron. The greens are fed to animals and seldom used as green vegetables. Now, let's get into the best soil type for turnips growing in containers. Turnips prefer a little acidic, good fertility, and well-drained soil due to which it helps in root development and plant growth and protect its bulb from rotting. Its soil pH level is 6.0 to 6.5 and it is the best. Turnip require an area full sun where sunlight lightens for at least 6 to 8 hours each day. The next topic is container choice for growing turnips. Select a container for turnip greens that is about 12 inches deep and large enough to hold approximately 1 gallon of soil for each plant. The container can be glazed, ceramic, plastic, or terracotta, but it must have drainage holes or your greens will suffer root rot. The selection of pot depends on the type of turnip you are growing as large turnip varieties will need more space to grow. The soil does not have to be specifically intended for vegetables or seed starting but should have a mix of organic matter such as compost or mineral matter like perlite to provide the plant nutrients and root drainage. Now let's see turnip varieties for containers. They are purple top white globe can be harvested in 45 to 65 days as by this time the turnips will be mature. The next type of variety is golden ball turnip. The next is Tokyo cross, white night turnip, scarlet queen, market express and hakure, al top and seven top, topper and soguin, gill feather turnip etc. Now, as we already know the varieties and its soil types, let's get into the process of growing turnips in container. The first is fill a container with lightweight commercial potting soil containing ingredients such as compost, vermiculite, and peat moss. Use a container with a soil capacity of at least about 2 gallons and a depth of at least 12 inches. Be sure to plant it the container has a drainage hole in the bottom. The second is Mix a balanced, slow-release fertilizer into the potting mixture at turnip planting time. Use a dry fertilizer, for example, 10 by 10 by 10 or 14 by 14 by 14 at the rate of half tablespoon of fertilizer for every 1 gallon of potting mixture. Plant turnip seeds about 4 to 6 inches apart if you tend to use the turnip roots. If you plan to use the greens, sprinkle seeds lightly on the soil at the rate of about 15 to 20 seeds in a container with 12 inch diameter. Cover the turnip seeds with half inch of the potting mixture. Place the container in a sunny location and check the container daily as vegetables shown in containers need water more frequently than vegetables are grown in the ground. Water turnips whenever the top of the soil feels dry when you poke the finger into top half to one inch. Water plants deeply until water begins to trickle through the drainage hole. Thin the turnip plants when the turnip seedlings are 4 inches tall, allowing 2 to 4 inches of space between each plant. Fertilize the turnip plants a second time about 1 month after planting. Using a balanced, water-soluble vegetable fertilizer with a ratio such as 2 is to 2 is to 2. Now, let's see watering of turnips. Turnip plant require to give water continuously. Turnip plant need at least one inch of water every week if your area is not raining enough and then soak it well every week. In extreme dry areas, you should give water two to three times a week. If you notice limp or wilting leaves, the turnip plants need more water. Let's see 
fertilizer requirement in turnip. Planting turnips makes slow release fertilizer in the potting soil. You can use one third part compost or aged manure in the soil instead of the granular fertilizer. Avoid adding too much nitrogen rich fertilizer and always opt for a formula such as 10 is to 10 is to 10 if you cannot find the UJ's general purpose. Liquid fertilizer like 20 is to 20 is to 20. Use a weak dose of water soluble fertilizer to 2 to 3 weeks old turnip if they don't do well. If you haven't used any fertilizer during the growing time, you can use about 5 is to 10 is to 10 or 5 is to 10 is to 5 water soluble fertilizer every 14 days. Let's see some gardening tips for growing turnips in container. A turnip plant is fairly easy to grow and require loose, fertile soil rich in compost. You can easily grow turnip in containers and the small turnip roots can be easily grown in at least 12 inches deep and wide containers. Fill one of your containers with a commercial potting mix which combines elements like high compost, vermiculite and peat moss. Keep the potted container checked regularly because the container drying faster than the ground and more water is needed. Use a balanced vegetable fertilizer soluble in water. Feed the plants for another time after about a month after planting. When the roots are 2 to 3 inches in diameter, then you can harvest. Do not let them more mature or otherwise become hard and woody. Turnips generally need a full sun location but will tolerate partial shade, especially if you plan on harvesting the plant for its greens. Then, preparing the bed to grow turnip plants is easy. Growing turnips must be done with seeds in the soil about half inch deep at the rate of 3 to 20 seeds per foot. Water immediately after planting to speed germination. Once you Find turnips growing, thin the plants to about 4 inches apart to give the plants plenty of room to form good roots. How to control turnip pests and diseases? Turnip get affected by aphids and flea beetles, though you can get rid of them by washing with a spray of water. Control aphids by pinching out infested foliage and hosing a large infestation of the turnip plants. Keep weeds in the home garden down to control flea beetles. Turnip plants can be affected by white rust fungus which will cause small white cottony blisters on the upper surface of the leaves and yellow discoloration on the undersides. And control is not necessary. Now, let's see how to harvest turnips. While growing turnips in pots, harvest the greens as soon as they grow about 4 to 6 inches tall, leaving the roots intact. It takes around 35 to 60 days for most turnip varieties to mature. You can harvest the roots when they are about 2 to 3 inch in diameter. Leaves are best harvested when they grow up to 10 to 12 inches in length. Let's see some of the commonly asked questions about planting turnip in containers. The first question is, can you plant turnip indoors? Yes, you can easily grow turnip indoors and also enjoy them fresh year-round. Grow seeds in containers and place them by windows that receive 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight and you are all set. Just be careful with plant watering. The second most asked question is, can you grow a turnip from a turnip? The answer to this question is, a turnip plant is fairly easy to grow and requires loose, fertile soil rich in compost. Stored turnip try to grow new leaves and roots over time, and these become bitter with a woody texture. Sprouting turnips are not good to eat, but plant them in the garden to grow crop of turnip greens. The next question is, how long does it take to grow turnips? Depending on the climate and temperature, it takes turnips about 60 days to grow. You can pull them from the ground after 30 days, but they will be very small. The next question is, 
How do you know when turnips are ready to harvest? Turnips are ready to harvest 40 to 55 days after planting. If harvesting the leaves, they are ready when they reach 4 to 6 inches in height. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please ring the bell button to notify you whenever new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching.